Well, here's your latest update for the expected uh, snow across the west. It's probably impossible across much of the area. Do have some new uh, highlights out. You can see anywhere in the pink, these are winter storm warnings, includes Jackson as well as the Star Valley. Also, uh, continuing for portions of the uh, Tetons as well as the uh, Salt Wyoming Range. Yellowstone and the Zerk is also included there. And some winter weather advisories that includes Pine Vale as well as South Pass and the western slopes of the winds. Want details on that? Let's go to our website right there, weather.gov slash RAW. Now as we time out the impacts, a little bit of a lull in the snow across the west during the morning hours, but it will increase during the afternoon, become heavy at times, especially late this afternoon around sunset toward the evening hours. Blowing and drifting snow as well with that wind increasing, so travel around sunset, that's say between about 4 and 9 o'clock, that's not going to be any fun. Then we get a lull uh, across the west uh, late Saturday night into Sunday morning, just scattered showers around, but strong wind continuing east of the divide. Now it could mix out some of those cold temperatures in the area, so it may have a silver lining, but Things are going to be blowing around though. Then the second round of heavy snow comes into the west as we head toward later Sunday into Sunday night, heavy at times. Heavy snow expected, I think, before about 1 or 2 o'clock on Sunday night, then just light snow continuing into Monday. And we'll take a look at the winds here. This hasn't changed much. Windiest areas where you'd expect in this situation, basically Kemmer, Evanston, through the Rock Springs Green River area and up toward Casper, gusts of 45 to 55 miles per hour likely in this area. Also east of the Cody Foothills, maybe locally higher gusts around the Clark area, with that gap flow coming in. Now areas across the west with that snow falling, the strongest wind here will probably be during the evening hours tonight, wind gusts to 35, 45, so maybe some near blizzard conditions in this area for a time. But just about anybody could see a gust of 30, 35 miles per hour through about Sunday. Now we take a look at snowfall. Here's some probabilistic stuff, we'll start with that. At least five to six inches across the western valleys, at least a foot across the mountains. And many areas east of the divide, we're not going to see much of anything out of this. Maybe just a couple flakes flying through the air if we're lucky if the, this is verifies, but likely highest amount. Areas east of the divide, it could be some snow showers sitting up if things set up right, but probably no more than an inch of snow in any local area. We can't pinpoint where those are going to be. Maybe an inch or two around Rock Springs if things set up right, but epicenter, western mountains obviously, maybe a foot, maybe a little bit more across the western valleys, and maybe up to two, maybe locally three feet in the highest elevations of Fort, the Tetons, as well as the Salt and Wyoming range. Now the most likely scenario we're going to see, the average amount, western valleys anywhere from about 6 to 10 inches, maybe locally up to a foot, a foot or two across the uh, higher elevations of the mountains, maybe locally up to 30 inches, about 3 to 4 around Pinedale. That might be a little higher around Kemmerer, I'd say 2 to 3 there. Maybe an inch around, less than an inch around Cody and uh, Lander, maybe just a Cody to nothing across much of the rest of the area east of the divide. And our resources, you want weather, you know where to go, weather.gov slash RW. Want road conditions, again, don't call us for the road conditions, go here. On the web, wildroad.info. You want to call them on the phone, 511 in-state, 188 Wild Road out-of-state. You want to take a look at those webcams, it's a great resource. Weather.gov slash RW. Go to local programs tab and click on the webcams tab. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your weekend.